Welcome to a new tutorial and I would like to go over my old perspective video and redo it. I want to make it better. Um, here you don't need any special brushes. Only thing that you need is to be able to access Photoshop rulers. And to open the Photoshop ruler you go to view and you choose rulers and they will pop up. Okay. Now what you're going to do to establish your horizontal line um, actually, here I want to establish the way I want it to look like. So I'm drawing an example how the building is going to look like. So it's horizontal line going to be at the bottom looking up into the building or a box. So you, what you got to do is go to the top part of the ruler, goes horizontally, click and drag it into the canvas. And this will be your horizon line. Now I select the line tool, which you will use to draw perspective. So there it is, line tool. Okay. But so where do you start? Well, you will determine that um, according to your liking. So you will take that now vertical side of the ruler and drag it out like I did right there. This all depends on how um, and then you start drawing by click and dragging and then you release uh, at a desired length. Always go outside of canvas. See, I'm drawing the perspective. This will be a two-point perspective uh, tutorial. Now if you run out of canvas and you need to uh, place the, the next one, you just zoom out by clicking, uh, pressing Z, Z on your keyboard and then my other uh, vertical line is going to be there to inter intersect uh, my, hor horizon hor my horizon line and then I'm going to draw it. Now that I've established two-point perspect two perspective, I'm going to create a new layer, uh, choose a brush, and I will hold control while I'm drawing straight lines. See, that happens from Photoshop when you draw horizontal lines. So, so when you want to do lines at an angle, what you're going to do is click in one corner, hold a control, and then click on the next, and it will automatically fill in in between. Especially good for those at angles, but you want to keep them straight. And again, control, control while I'm drawing, and here you go. Now I remove it, and you have a box at a perfect two point perspective. And now let's say this is high going to be in shadow, so I'm just going to establish that by drawing lines. And you can use this in anything pretty much that requires you to use perspective. I hope this was very helpful. Hope you learned something from it. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you.